Hi loves, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Happy Mommy Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little story about myself and I'm going to be talking about why I chose to be a stay-at-home mom over my career. Now before I do get started, I do want to mention two things. The first one is, this is just related to my life and what worked for my little family and I. By no means am I saying that this is the correct way or if you're doing it differently, it's the wrong way. I just wanted to share my story with you guys so if you are going through the same thing, you know that you are not alone. And second, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my coffee here. I won't be drinking tea, but I do have my coffee. So first things first, like I mentioned earlier, um, this is something that worked out for my little family and I. I am fully and 100% aware that for most people, it's not an option for one parent to stay home and it is necessary to live for both parents to work. And I completely understand that. This is just based on what worked for my little family and I, like I said, again, I don't want anyone to get offended or anyone to feel like I'm trying to say that the best way is to be a stay at home mom or you're bad if you're working. Like, it's not even like that. If honestly, if you're a working mom, I have so much respect for working moms. And if you're a stay at home mom, I have so much respect for stay at home moms as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start with giving you a little background to what exactly I used to do before I became a mommy. So my husband and I got married when I was 20 and that's and that's about when my career was barely starting. I had gone to school for nursing and then I didn't end up pursuing that career and then I ended up going straight into phlebotomy which is something that I found that I surprisingly really did like and enjoyed. If you are a phlebotomist, you know what I mean? You do get that like rush when you know that, you know, you're the person that doesn't miss anybody because that's who I used to be. I'm the person who never missed anyone, the person who people would come to and be like, oh, can you ask her to draw my blood? And it felt nice to know that you were really good at or I was really good at what I did. So my career had pretty much just started when I got married and two years later my husband and I ended up pregnant with my baby boy. When I ended up pregnant with my baby boy it was a complete and total surprise. We had been trying for those two years, nothing was happening so I kind of had just gotten to a point where I was starting to feel like maybe I wasn't going to be able to have children. And I was starting to be okay with that idea because I'm a strong believer of when something is meant for you, it's going to happen. And if it's not meant for you, it's for a reason. So I was okay with that. Like I said, strong believer of what's meant to be is meant to be. I ended up pregnant and it was such a blessing. My baby boy is such a blessing. I'm forever thankful to God for allowing me to even be a mommy. I'm sorry if the birds are so loud outside, but I keep trying to pause and keep going so that it won't be as loud. But honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and let the birds chirp away uh, because I feel like the more I talk, they chirp and then I stay quiet and then there's silence. But anyway, so yeah, huge blessing. I was very excited. My husband was very excited. Baby came. I took um, the time that I needed to take with the baby. I took my mommy and baby bonding time. And then the time came where I had to go back to work. I feel like I never really had that, you know, time to process like, do I want to go back to work? Do I want to keep working? I am Hispanic and I come from a Hispanic family. And the way that I was raised, I saw both my parents always working all the time. My mom at some point even had two jobs and I'm very grateful for that because I can't complain and say that I didn't have a good life. I've always had a very good life financially. Like we weren't rich, but I always had everything I wanted and needed. So I can't complain when it comes to that. So I pretty much was raised that way. So instantly my mom told me, you know, um, I'll watch the baby for you so you can go back to work. And I didn't even think about it. I didn't hesitate. I was just like, okay, perfect. Like my mom can take care of my son. I'm going to be okay knowing that he's in good hands. I went back to work and this whole working thing 
while being a mommy lasted for about a year. People told me sometimes it gets easier the more the days go by you get used to and you adapt to working and leaving your kid. But to be honest, it never ever got easy. For the whole year that I worked every single day, I was crying. I would cry, I miss my son. I was wondering like, what is he eating today? Is he trying something new? Like, is he liking it? Is he doing okay? Is he missing me? Is he thinking about me? Like, it was, it was so crazy. It was a feeling that I honestly didn't think that I could possibly feel because I knew I was going to miss him but I didn't think it was gonna be like this. I didn't think that every day I was rushing home and in tears because I missed him. And when I had him in my arms, it was like a few hours I fed him, shower time, time to put him down for bed. And then it was time to go to sleep because the next day it was time to again go to work and pretty much repeat the same thing all over again. It was something that I dreaded and honestly, I was so, so sad I needed I needed to feel, I wanted to feel what it felt to be a stay at home mom. I wanted to feel, but I was so scared because like I said, I come from a very strong Hispanic family and I, and obviously it's not just in Hispanic homes, but I'm just trying to tell you guys a little bit of how my background is, where um, I never saw my mom stay home. You know, I never saw her not work a single day of her life. And my dad, like they worked every single day of their lives. and. Like I said, it's something that I do admire and I am grateful for. But then at the same time, I didn't really feel 100% like that's what I wanted for myself. I feel like we live in a society where they set the standards so high where you have to live a life where you have to have a big home, you have the best cars. Like that's what society has pretty much set the standards to. And to be honest, I believe that if you really want to and you really make it happen, it can happen. But there's going to be sacrifices that, you know, you and your partner are going to have to be willing to make. For example, if one of you or specifically most of the time it's the mother stops working so that the other one can continue to work. Maybe you guys are going to have to budget more. Maybe you guys are going to have to put vacations on hold. Maybe you guys are going to have to put getting your own dream home on hold because nowadays, especially if you live in California, buying a home is not cheap. Nevertheless, cheap for one person, one income only. It's really, really hard. So sometimes you have to put little things, well, not little because they're not little, obviously. Having a home is something big, but sometimes you have to put things like that on hold and it takes sacrifice. And for me, one of the sacrifices that I had to make was putting my career on hold. And I know that a lot of people might not be with it because I know some moms, you know, have said, I can't imagine being home all the time. It's just not for me. And it's totally understandable. Being home 24 seven comes with a lot. It's honestly the best feeling in the world because I never missed anything. Thank God I didn't miss much the first year because I was only working part time. But being a stay at home mom, I got to see his first steps. I got to feed him his first a lot of everything. I got to see what he liked, what he didn't like. I got to be there 24 seven when he had a fever, when he got sick, when he had a virus. I didn't have to worry about a lot of the things that I did when I was a working mom. I felt horrible that I had to be calling off all the time if he got sick or he wasn't feeling well. And I felt even worse if I had to go to work and I would leave him like that even though I knew he was in my mom's hands. It was the most horrible feeling ever and being a stay-at-home mom i was able to take care of him i was able to know exactly you know if he's feeling better if he's feeling worse if he's feeling this if he has an eight if i need to you know a lot of the times they don't eat and sometimes my son wouldn't eat so i would get home and my mom would tell me like adriana i tried and my mom is the type of woman who she will try she will sit for hours if she has to, to try to feed the kids if they're not eating. And there was times where he just wasn't eating. And I would get home and it was so weird. Like I would feed him and he would eat everything that I would give him. So I felt like maybe a lot of it had to do with maybe he was missing me or I don't know. But there was also a time, this was a time where it absolutely did it for me. And I said, you know what, I can't do this anymore. And I ended up quitting my job and then I ended up being a stay-at-home mom. Um, my mom called me at work and she told me like, Adriana, I don't know what to do. 
it was like around 3 p.m. and I normally got out like around 4 30 5 p.m. I was home by 5 30 sometimes 6 if there was traffic and she told me I don't know what to do you know Timmy's been crying um he stops for a little bit but then he cries again and he starts asking for you and I feel really bad because I keep telling him like let's go play outside I try to distract him but he doesn't want to and he just sits around asking for you or looking out the window and at that point my heart just like I was like what am I doing like what am I doing like to be honest with you I kept the job and I went back to work because I loved doing what I did I love being a phlebotomist that there's no question I can't ever complain and say I didn't like it because I loved it and I love it till this day but at that point, I realized that a big reason why I had gone to work was because I was too worried and too concerned on what people around me were going to say. Like I said, I come from a family, including my side of the family, my husband's side of the family, where they are very hard workers. They work hard. So if you are not working or you're a stay-at-home mom, you know, sometimes it gets looked down upon. And so I was like worried. I'm like, oh my God, what are people going to think? They're going to think I stay home. They're going to think I don't do nothing. They're going to think I'm not bringing in income. I used to think so much about what other people thought that I never really thought to take my feelings into consideration and be like, you know what? I'm a mom now. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. So I made the decision along with my husband. Of course, I had a talk with him. And thank God that we've always been financially stable. He has a really great job. And he told me, I've told you from the beginning, if being a stay-at-home mom is what you wanted to do, I support you 100%. I actually would love for you to be a stay-at-home mom because I feel like a huge sense of relief knowing that you're with our son all the time. That he has at least one of us because I have to work, obviously. So I became a stay-at-home mom and i have to tell you guys it hasn't always been easy as you guys know when i first started my mommy mondays i started because of a very very vulnerable time in my life and sometimes even with this video i questioned it like do i really want to talk about this do i really want to post this like do people really care why i even stopped working or why i became a stay-at-home mom but to be honest i don't post these videos to talk and you know make it all about my life or pretty much you know just randomly tell you guys about my life i make these videos because when i made that first video which is why i started mommy mondays i realized that there's a lot of women like me who are going through the same thing who feel the same thing who are who are in the same position as i am and it feels so good to know that there's other people out there who relate to you who understand you who are going through the same challenges as you and I really, really hope that with these videos, I get to help at least one person or someone who's feeling down and, you know, help you guys realize and understand that you guys are not alone, that there's so many women in the world who actually do decide to put their careers on hold and decide to be a stay-at-home mom. And I have to tell you from the bottom of my heart, it's a decision that I will never, ever, ever regret. It has came with a lot of ups and downs, but for the most part, there's so many ups. Because like I said, I've got to watch my son grow. I got to listen to his first words. I got to take care of him when he was sick. I got to see all the foods that he liked and didn't like. I got to see him and I get to see him every day transition into his own little person. And that to me is amazing. It's wonderful. It's the best feeling ever. And ultimately the best feeling is that when he grows up, he's going to know, you know, mommy was there for me. My mom was there. She was at home with me. She took care of me. There was home cooked meals all the time, which is exactly what I what I love to do. You know, being a stay at home mom, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, being a stay at home mom is a 24 hour job. You never stop working. There's always something to do. Always, always something to do from cleaning to washing to cooking to cleaning again, making a different meal because it's lunchtime, cleaning again, then making dinner and then cleaning again making the making sure that the house is tidy but i enjoy doing all that i enjoy doing that because i know my husband works hard and i know that we're a team so by the time that he gets home i always like to make sure that there's dinner on the table or if i don't make dinner because 
I'm not gonna say I cook every single day because there's times where I don't cook. But the one thing that I always, always make sure 100% that he has a clean home to come home to. I know like a lot of the times we have younger children and it's really hard to keep the home clean and that's totally understandable but my baby boy is five years old now and he understands a lot more and not only that he also helps me personally around the house to pick up his toys and he's just very organized because that's the way that I've taught him you know so there's a lot of downs as well because like I said you will be looked down upon you will be looked at and I've been told so many times like sometimes not even like in a messed up way but just like in a conversation way like well you know you don't you don't really bring money to the table or well what are you doing if you're not working like you're not bringing money to the table or what are you guys planning to do like there's always always going to be people who are always going to look down upon you because they think you don't work they think you just stay home and honestly it's really sad because some women that's what leads to depression and anxiety. You start second guessing yourself. You start wondering like, you know, you're right. Like I'm not bringing anything to the table. I have been in that position so many times before where I feel like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm proud of my decision. But then I have certain people, you know, tell me otherwise, like, or not tell me straightforward, but kind of indirectly tell me like, oh, so when are you going to start working? Also, what do you do? Like, you know, and it's just like, I I feel like stay-at-home moms shouldn't be looked down upon because we do so much. Like we, I, I, for one, I never really ever get a break. I'm always cleaning, I'm always cooking, I'm always playing, I'm always doing something, but I'm not complaining because I love being a stay-at-home mom. I love being able to be with my son and watching him grow and I just love not missing any moments because when I was growing up, like I mentioned, my parents were always working and I feel like they didn't really have an option. They had to work because, you know, they had to provide for us and, and I truly 100% appreciate that. But I always told myself growing up that if I had the opportunity to stay at home with my kids, I would take it in a heartbeat because I don't want them to, you know, remember my mom wasn't there, my mom had to work and... I just, I understand that there's times where you can't do it and you both, both parents have to work against me, but I highly 100% stand behind being a stay at home mom. Like I said, sometimes you have to put certain things on hold and it's okay. Life is so, so short. Like I tell my husband all the time, I could be complaining and I can be like, you know what? I want a big house. I want a house now. I want to do it now. Like but life is so short. I could be, my husband and I can work our butts off to get a house and not even have time to enjoy our family, not even have, and then tomorrow something could happen, God forbid, we pass away and we lived our whole life just focusing on the material stuff and we didn't live, we didn't get to make those memories with our son for him to remember. Like I remember my mom and dad, you know, we were always together, we always had fun, we always did this, we always did that. So that is pretty much my story on why I chose to be a stay-at-home mom over my career. I need some coffee. I feel like I talk too much. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. In a heartbeat, I would do it again. I would do it all over again if I had to. I really hope that you find this video helpful. And if you are in a similar situation like I was in, whether you want to decide if you want to be a stay-at-home mom or keep pursuing your career, if it's possible, I 100% recommend be a stay-at-home mom. I promise you that you won't regret it. I know that there's times that are tough. You don't have any human interaction sometimes. You do feel like you're going crazy. Do I feel like I'm going crazy sometimes? Yes. Do I want to hide under my blanket sometimes? Yes. Do I feel like I fall short and I'm an incompetent parent? Every single day. Every single day I feel like I'm not a perfect parent. And to be honest, it's totally normal. There's no such thing as the perfect parent. But I can promise you that the memories that you make with your child and the moments that you get to live with them and you're not going to be missing out on, that's something that's going to live in your heart forever. I get to live that every single day. I get to hold those memories every single day of everything, every little thing, every little change, 
every little first word that he said, I still remember and have in my mind and my heart. And that for me is something that I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. So if it's possible financially and you can do it, I would 100% say go for it. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Again, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all the love, for all the support. And just keep loving each other, supporting each other, especially support each other as moms. It's important to do so. And always remember that no one is bigger than another person. Just because you're a working mom doesn't make you bigger. Just because you're a stay-at-home mom doesn't make you more special. Every single mom is doing what they need to do to make sure that their little ones are okay. And that is the only thing that matters. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.